Happy New Year 2022. I'm sat here with little Cleo. She's raiding my jewellery drawer just here. I hope that you all had really wonderful Christmases and New Year's Eve celebrations. Cleo, did Santa come? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, is that what he says? What did he, what, what did, what did Santa bring you? Cleo. He bought all the presents for Cleo. Yeah. Have you got all my treasure? That's all my treasure. Now you guys know if you're long time followers of my channel that I'm a little bit of a bag addict and I am a handbag collector and I do enjoy um, chopping and changing my bags during the week. I will go through like two or three bags during any given week. So I got this bag and to be honest with you I did try and wait for a couple of days before kind of trying to film and show you because I like to do live unboxings. I feel like it's really like exciting to do it together but I couldn't control and I couldn't contain myself and I have actually opened it. I've been using the bag. It's a bag that I've been wanting for a really long time so I'm really building this bag up I know this is the box the Louis Vuitton bag it's really good quality very sturdy now, I've got to be honest with you I'm not someone who's that bothered by packaging for me what's way more important is the contents and the quality of the bag itself because all of this ultimately gets thrown to the back of my wardrobe and actually Mel said to me the other day it need all the boxes need to go upstairs in the loft now because it's just getting too much so you've got the magnetic opening and voila that is how the bag is presented. Now there is a little care booklet just here in the trademark orange. This is the dust bag and it's made of really thick quality cotton. So I'm just gonna open it like that and show you the newest addition to my collection. It is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini Backpack. You probably know that I'm going through a monogram and a backpack phase at the moment. I love my Louis Vuitton Monstery Backpack and I wanted to get like a smaller version just for when I want to travel light and I just feel like this is so cute. It's so cool and it's really really diddy. If you see how big it is compared to like the size of my hand it's it is really quite small. I'm definitely going through a monogram moment. I just feel like like it's such a classic print and it's not too loud and bold and in your face just because it is in that kind of dark brown but it is beautiful this bag comes in various sizes so I think you can get bigger sizes but this is the smallest size and it also comes in different finishes so you can get the reverse monogram but I actually think that this looks way more classier one thing that I love about this is that it has the black leather rather than the untreated vachetta stroke vachetta there's there seems to be a lot of debate about how you pronounce it so I'm going to say it both ways. Yeah, so it doesn't have the untreated leather, so you don't need to worry about um, water stains on here. I love the black accents, the black leather accents, because I just feel like it toughens up the bag. If you're looking for this backpack, you need to make sure you get the updated version. That basically means that it has the exposed zip at the top. When Louis Vuitton first released this backpack, it came um, with a zip that was really sticky and really stiff and hard to open. And um, that's basically because this flap extended all the way across that so the zip was hidden. But now that they've made the zip exposed, it's a lot easier to open. So if you're looking for this backpack, definitely keep an eye out and make sure you're getting the updated version. Okay, let's do the sniff test. No foo foo smell. And actually this is canvas, so it doesn't really smell of anything. The leather accent on here is leather and it smells of leather. The shape of the bag as well also looks very good. We'll look at it from the side, at that side kind of angle. I always say a good sign of quality is can the bag stand up on, it, on its own, which it can. So let's look at the front. Do these align? They do. I would say actually on the flowers and stars on here, they could probably be a little bit higher up. So there is a difference. I actually really like the colour of the monogramming on here. It's not too orangey. Um, I've probably mentioned this before, but you can get like quite orange toned um, monogram. You can get it quite kind of greeny, kind of khaki based. But this, I really like the colour of this. The stitching looks very neat to me. There's no loose stitches. You can see that's very well done we've also got the gold plated zips with the lv logo on here you're gonna to have to excuse my awful nails i just couldn't wait to dry them before filming this video so that's why they're all scuffed these are the zips so that's accurate and so is this one still need to take the sticky tape off there let's just check the zips really easy to open and close you can do it one-handed now lots of people say that this front pocket is pointless because it's really small it's 
the opening here is really tight. Now, I think you could actually put your car keys in there, but the zipper is very smooth and it's easy to open and close. On the front pocket, you have this black leather tab, which is embossed with Louis Vuitton Paris. And then you also have a, another black little kind of hook just here. I'm not entirely sure what this is meant to do or what it's for in terms of functionality. There are also two black leather tabs on the front pocket here. So from my understanding, Louis Vuitton make their bags in France, in Italy, and I think also the US. Now, depending on where you get it from, will determine what kind of stitching you have. So on the side panel here, you can see that the stitching is internal. You can't actually see it. It's not like showing like it is on this ridge. So the stitching on this retail picture is actually external stitching, but that doesn't mean that your bag is, you know, not retail basically, because I have seen them with internal stitching and with external on this particular model of bag. Just taking the straps off so we can have a closer look at the back panel. You should have three lines of stitching, which we have here. And then you've got these gold hooks where you can attach the um, straps and they're all positioned accurately. Now, if we're looking at the monogram and the placement, the star, which you can just see the bottom of here, should be lower. So you should be able to see more of the star. That means that you should therefore see less of this flower. So there is a slight misalignment. On the retail version, you can see on this middle panel here that the stitching runs slap bang through the middle of the flowers and the stars. I would say on this bag, you can see it slightly to the left, ever so slightly, but you can see that it's not slap bang in the middle. Let's have a look inside. Okay, I'm sorry, but this chair is wobbly. <laughs> so annoying um the bag is fully lined with this black fabric we've also got quite a deep and i'd say fairly wide back pocket and you've got the louis vuitton paris made in france stamping on a leather tab now depending on where you get your bag from because i've seen so many reviews of the psm um on youtube depending on where it was made there are slight variations of the position of this top handle so some PSMs have this a lot further back, like two thirds of the way back. This one on my version, if we exclude the, the flap, looks like it's probably sort of in the middle and I quite like the position of that. I can't find any pictures of the straps, but I wanted to show you what mine look like. So you have these little gold clips with LV um, embossed on the top and they kind of swivel around. So they're very, very flexible. And then you've got Louis Vuitton on this rivet just here so the attention to detail is really good and then both of the straps are actually adjustable and you just use these little like clips which just go in according to what length that you want the strap i quickly wanted to show you what i fit in my psm because actually for a small bag it's quite roomy so i take these clinal um, hand wipes just to wipe down the shopping trolley when i go to the supermarket um, just because of COVID really. I have got my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. I always use this now because a lot of the leather bags I have, I don't like the keys to scratch the interior. So I'll just use that. I've got my iPhone 11 phone. And then I've got a little coin purse. I think it's called a key clay. Just put my coins in there. And then I've got my YSL card holder. I like to travel quite light when it comes to like wallets and things. I like everything to be quite small and compact. I've got a little face mask for Cleo. I have got her little bow. She's always wanting bows in her hair. And then I've got this Chanel compact just because I like to touch up a little bit during the day. And I love that. It's Vitaline Me Aqua in 30 Beige. Love Chanel foundations. And then I've got a little mini chance by chanel perfume this was actually the perfume that i wore on my wedding day and i just like to carry a little bit in case i need to freshen up i've got a little mac lip liner here it's spice and let me show you what this looks like it's a really nice kind of terracotta shade I wear this all the time and then i go over with a slightly lighter lipstick this is mac cream sheen in pure zen and this is literally on its last leg so it's quite sheer but it's a lighter color than the spice but it's a really nice combo it's what i'm wearing now and then i've got my earphones for my um iphone just in here i just keep them stored so that they're not 
causing chaos inside the bag and then finally I carry this little scrunchie so as you can see you can fit quite a lot in there and there is room to spare I don't like to pack my bags jam-packed because it really makes it hard to get stuff out this is the way that I've been wearing the backpack this week and it's actually cross body rather than as a backpack I've literally just looped one of the straps over and I actually think this looks quite cool so I'm five at three for reference I'm a size 14 and this is how the bag looks on me i've actually seen people wear this um like this on youtube videos and i was a bit like how easy is it to get stuff in and out of well let me show you you literally just open the backpack up and actually you can see everything quite easily oh <laughs> i went to the post office to post some orders earlier and got a bit tempted and distracted by the dark chocolate so i've got that to snack on later but it's really easy to see stuff and then like take stuff out and and so i really enjoy wearing it like this you could also wear it just on your shoulder here but to be honest with you it feels a little bit unsafe i feel like it's just gonna topple over and fall off my arm at any moment and then this is what the backpack looks like when you wear it as a backpack so it's on the longest setting at the moment as you can see it's kind of sitting at the top of my bum if you're not into the long strap look and want to shorten the straps you can actually do it i figured out a way so this is how the straps come normally you can see it's actually two sections you've got one long strap here and then you've got another strap which is kind of um bolted together i've removed this section here which is this part of the strap so you only have one piece and I've just looped it back on itself and then bolted it back in place. And this is what the bag looks like with the shorter strap setting. I actually prefer this look. It looks better. It's not kind of bouncing around your bottom as you're walking and moving. It's kind of a little bit more stable there. I don't know who wears their backpacks like this, but I'm sure some people do. And I'm sure you could actually even YouTube the number of ways that you could wear this, but it is such a versatile bag. Is it worn with two straps on the shoulder on the shorter setting? One strap on one shoulder on the shorter setting. The shorter setting is perfection. It looks so much better especially if you're a bit of a shorty like me five foot three i think this gives me more proportion so that is my palm springs mini backpack another one checked off the list and it's actually quite heavy now because i've got my stuff in it i hope that you enjoyed my unboxing my QCing, and what fits in this bag I managed to fit quite a lot in this video i just love how cute and diddy it is look just look at it sitting on my table my vanity table i just feel like it's so cute and for a small bag it actually packs a punch you can fit quite a lot in there come and chat to me on instagram i hope to see you in my next video please like and actually more importantly please subscribe thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one Bye bye